Hola, this is Sharon. And I should not be up and doing this because I need to get up early. So this won't be a complete um, finishing of the coffin, but it'll give you a little more to work on it until I finish it. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Okay, I'm going to move you here. All right, so what I've done is I've got these papers cut up here that I want to glue on. And I traced out the paper and I did it twice. For the first one is for the outside and then I, after I traced it, I cut it into the sections that I need to cut these papers. And then I'll show you, once I get this glued on, I'll show you why I did this one. So I got my pieces all cut and I love purple and then this has like a velvet flocked type and um, I'm going to glue this on to there. Around the edges I put the black soot distress ink so that no white shows. Now as I was cutting up the paper I discovered there was a little touch up I need to do on the black paint but I want to get this paper on there first before I do that because then I'd have to wait for it to dry and I'm impatient okay so I put glue on there and now I want to get it on there the best I can and I'm using this tacky glue and see how it has these bars in the middle so you can't just lay down a flat piece so it makes it a little bit more complicated but that's okay and then the next step after I do all what I'm doing today I need to do the edges of the bottom part and I need to add more decorations on top of this stuff here Okay, got two down. You know, my cutting's not perfect, but that's okay. That's why I painted it black first, so whatever's not covered will just show in black. And I used black metal, metallic paint. So it's got like shiny shimmers, like it looks like glitter almost. I could have put glitter paint. I might still. We'll see what I end up with at the end. But right now, I'm not feeling the need. Okay, I didn't get too good on the edge here. So I hope you guys that are going to join along and make a coffin have gotten yours at least painted the colors you want and have thought about what papers you want to put on it. And then this will give you some ideas. And then I hope you will run with that and do your style. I learn so much from everybody here. I like to share what I know and then I learn from others. So. That's the whole point of this community, that we teach each other little tricks of the trade and discoveries we've made and ideas and, you know, even if somebody makes just the same exact thing, to me, that's an honor. So, keep the sharing going. Okay, so I've got my paper on there. See how that paint is nice and shiny? And I'm sure the camera won't pick it up, but there's almost like a glitter look to it. All right, so get ready. I made it blood red on the inside. <laughs> so, when I had this in one piece, and then I had the second one, I measured this width of the wood which was like a quarter of an inch and I cut off 
I measured the quarter around this one so that I can cut out my papers. So I want this paper on the bottom here. So let me make sure it will fit. I believe it will. Better not give me any trouble. So I'm going to glue that in. And again, I put the um, black soot on the edges. So no white is showing other than where it should be on the paper. And I put a hefty amount of glue so it will stay in there. Okay, please don't give me any trouble and just get in there, okay? Okay, oh yay. Okay, let me position it a little. You gotta push it down so it'll lay in its spot there. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And that's got glitter on that paper, so it shines. Ooh. Now on this side, what I want to do is I've got, oops, not yet. I'm not ready for that. I got this paper. And then I want this to be like the picture of the guy that died. So I'm going to put that on there after. So let's get this in there. Oh, i got to be at work at 7.45 a.m. tomorrow. I dread Wednesdays because I'm not a morning person. I am a night owl. And it's so hard for me to adjust to my working schedule. But I have got to make every effort because, you know, when you go around sleep deprived, it's, it's not very fun. This is when you like that you have some nails because it helps to push it in. Okay. So there's the inside. Now I want to put this picture down. And even though it has the sticky, to me they never last. So I'm putting glue on top of it. It just seemed to fall off after a while and disappoint me. So this is our lovely gentleman. Voila. This is when he was handsome. And that's what he looked like. Yikes! He's a vampire! Okay. So, here he is. I glued in some purple gems for his eyes. The glue is still uh, drying. And I put this spider web stuff and spiders on him. Now let's see if we can smush him to fit in here. Oh, little guy, we're going to have to bend you up a little. Get your chin in there. <laughs> He's like, get me out of here. <laughs> Stay. He's smushed in there. So, there is the spider web. And when that glue is glued, you know, dried, I'll stick some more spider. Oh, this stuff gets all over the place. Yuck. And then when you have dry hands, it sticks to you. So I'll cover up his head, too. So, what do you think so far? Is that coming out okay? So tomorrow... Oh, the spider's going to get smushed. Stay. <laughs> He's got his chin in his chest. Okay, let's hope his feet stay out of the way. Okay, it does close. Da da! Alright, so tomorrow or by the weekend, I still want to do a lot here and I want to do some stuff here. 
and then we can call it finished. Okay, so I hope that helped to give some ideas. And then when I went to the dollar store to get my skeleton, because the ones I had, my grandkids sort of took over. Look what I found. There were four of these little tablets for a dollar. And it was the only package. It was falling apart. The tablets were falling out. But I wanted the owls. So now I've got four little tablets of owls. Aren't they darling? They're all the same. So maybe when I can do another giveaway, I'll have one of these in there. So I'll share some owls with you. Okay. Well, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed, and I'll be back another day with finishing the coffin. All right. Have a good evening. Have a wonderful day tomorrow. Bye-bye.